Hi again, and welcome back to the Palumbo Center for the Pittsburgh Sports Report wrap-up of session two of the WPIL basketball tournament. The afternoon session on Saturday afternoon saw three more champions crowned North Catholic, Manesson, and Blackhawk all win titles. Let's go to the videotape and find out how it happened here today. First of all, North Catholic in girls basketball winning over Fort Cherry this afternoon by a final score of 49 to 43. And this is some of the damage that Fort Cherry did early in the game. As a matter of fact, Fort Cherry tried to hang tough. They got down early because of the pressure defense of the North Catholic Lady Trojans. And the Trojans able to score a lot of points off turnovers, including this give and go right here down the lane. As a matter of fact, uh, it was a tough contest for a long time. Fort Cherry had just 14 first half points. They rallied with a 12-0 run to pull close late in the game, but it was mostly North Catholic. They win it by a final score of 49 to 43. Kendall Hoffman was the player of the game for North Catholic with shots like this. Hoffman, 15 points, four rebounds, two assists, a nice weave around there, and also two steals. She was six of nine from the line and two of three in three-point shooting this afternoon. So Kendall Hoffman, the player of the game in our first game, the championship game of the WPIO going to the North Catholic girls. Game number two of the afternoon session saw the Manesson Greyhounds challenge the Greensburg Central Catholic Centurions. It was an exciting game in Class AA boys basketball. Let's check out some of the highlights here from the A.J. Palumbo Center on Comcast here on our Pittsburgh Sports Report wrap-up. First of all, a hot start by the Greyhounds. They were on fire, but right now let's take a look at some of the action done here by Greensburg Central Catholic. They were able to cut through the lane from time to time, but Manesson pressured them throughout this ball game. Greensburg Central Catholic, a hot team coming in to the championship game, but Manesson wins by 20. And let's take a look at some of the damage done by Manesson. They were able to penetrate the key, drive to the bucket, get some shots like that one, they hit some big threes. As a matter of fact, Manesson jumped out to a 12-1 advantage early in the game. How about that throwdown by Cam Johnson right there? One of the big highlights. And speaking of Cam Johnson, he is our player of the game. Cam Johnson with a couple of stuffs in the game had 12 points, eight rebounds. He was five of seven from the free throw line, had two block shots on the defensive end. And despite the fact that he was in foul trouble, he was able to come back in, do some damage, and you saw that big throwdown. That one got everybody out of the chairs here at the A.J. Palumbo Center today. The Manesson Greyhounds win the Class AA boys title 63-43 over Greensburg Central Catholic. And the finale of the afternoon session saw the Lady Cougars from Blackhawk come back to Palumbo and defeat their section rivals, the Ambridge Bridgers. Blackhawk and Ambridge finished 2-3 and three in their section behind Newcastle, but they earned the right to get to the title game here. And this was a very physical game. Ambridge clawing away at the Lady Cougars in the first half. Saw some great action running the floor there by the Lady Bridgers, but then the Cougars came back with a long ball. Both teams had big runs of the game. It was back and forth early. Tough defense, a scrappy, scrappy game. But Blackhawk comes up with three-point shots at critical times to pull ahead. And they win it by a final score here this afternoon at the Colombo Center, 63 to 49. Now taking a look at our player of the game for the class AAA girls game. It was none other than double zero, Alexa Hayward of the Blackhawk Lady Cougars. 21 points, six rebounds, and she hit five of her 11 three-point attempts in this game. And again, the Blackhawk Lady Cougars win it going away 63 to 49 in the girls AAA championship game here on Comcast. And that is our wrap-up of the afternoon session of the WPIL Championship Games brought to you by the Pittsburgh Sports Report. I'm Chris Shovlin here on Comcast On Demand.